Hey guys, this is Shay, welcome to the Wind Up, and today of course we are here with the one and only Hiroyuki Suzuki, four time world champion, and he, you're here this time for something world Singapore. Yep. Right, and that's gonna happen tomorrow. We're gonna ask him a little bit about that, and uh, we're gonna tackle. There's so much to ask you. <laughs> how many, how many years have you played yo yo? Uh, yeah. Since when I was seven or eight, so it's been twenty years. Whoa! So you about twenty seven? Wow, that's that's a long time. First competition. First competition was. I don't know. <laughs> Like uh, like one of those uh, okay. So when you first start, when you first started, double A would be would be the thing. Yes. So those were kind of trick letter. What was what was the conditions like back then? Trick letter. Or yeah, trick letter. Oh okay. And and the first freestyle, do you remember? First freestyle was U T Y J. Which is like a young mega thing, right? No no no. It's no, not. It's not. That's just a couple. What does UTYJ UTYJ stand for? United Team Yo Yo Japan. Yeah, it was it was like Japan Nationals. So you're here for something about Singapore. What do you think of Singapore plays? Um, they got they got combos. They got combos. But I guess they have more things that they can do about freestyle. Okay. One thing I always want to ask you about, because when we talk all the time, you you always say this guy's good, but he can't freestyle. What do you mean when you say when when you talk about this guy can freestyle? Like I know you you say Chris can freestyle, but what what is it you're looking for in a freestyle? And it seems to be more than just following the music, or is it just following the music? Um, I think following the Music is very important part of it. Um, overall, um, how you can attract people. So, who do you think does good freestyles other than other than yourself? And I know you talk about Chris all the time. Uh, Shinji, Shinji, okay, and uh, Spasta. Right, okay, okay, I, I kind of see where you're going to now, right, okay, so they make it look cool and people want to watch them and say, uh, the, does it always have to be energetic and, and... No, it doesn't have to be energetic and it can be like very quiet. <laughs> okay, okay. What, have you ever seen anybody pull off a quiet kind of freestyle but still like, you, make, makes you go and get that guy can freestyle? Mm hmm. Entire one then? Are you serious? Okay, wow, that's, that's, that's something like. I know we respect Kentaro a lot because he's got some really cool tricks, but he got he like all the world. That, that's a totally different. So you're saying Tsubasa uh, Nishi can freestyle, Shinji Saito can freestyle, and, and they're both. I mean, Tsubasa is this crazy, hyperactive, uh, super energetic, and, and Shinji is, is very cool, but Kentaro Mine is totally different, wow. So for, for players that are trying to come up with their own freestyle, not just following the beat, you know, coming up with a freestyle, what, what kind of advice would you give? First, you need to think what you want to show. So it's not just following the beat. You gotta think about why, like whether it's okay. Give us a use use to Basa Onishi and Shinji Saito and and Kentaro Mane, for example. They're all trying to show mm -hmm. different things. I think so. Okay, but all of them make yo yo is cool. Okay, like uh, is it you want to make? You will look fun, or you will look cool, or yourself looks cool. So all those, all those things are different. So you have to successfully, how well you present, whether you look cool, you look fun, or whether you look fun. Okay. Who was there? Anybody that gave you like really tough? Who was the toughest competition throughout these years? 
you get nervous at stage. When you look at players who miss their tricks because they're nervous, and players who hit their tricks even though they're nervous. What do you think is the difference? 